What is up guys, it's your boy Rick Kakis, and today we are going to be showcasing the two new Iron Banner weapons up for grabs within Season of the Seraph, showcasing the possible perk spawns and talking about their PvP and PvE god rolls so you guys know what to go for and if they're even worth going for at all. So. First of all, um, Iron Banner has a brand new game mode called Fortress. If you don't know anything about it, check the video out I've done about it. It's linked right above. Now, diving into these weapons here, the first one we have is going to be the Dark Decider Legendary Arc Auto Rifle. Now, this belongs to the Rapid Fire Frame Archetype, so 720 rounds per minute. It's the fastest shooting, lowest damaging auto rifle archetype. Generally, these are, you know, decent within the meta. Certainly in PvE, they can be pretty good. In PvP, they don't necessarily see too much play, but anything other than the DMT doesn't really see too much play anyways, so I don't know how much weight that carries. Now, let's take a look at the possible perk spawns. So, starting things off with the barrels, nothing really out of the ordinary, but generally the rule of thumb is that in PvP, you're trying to get a little bit more range, this archetype needs it, and in PvE, it doesn't really matter as much. Now, as for the second column, uh, we have our normal assortment of stuff here. Generally, you want appended mag or extended mag for PvE, and then something like Accurize to improve the stats for PvP. Now, moving on from there, we have the first main perk slot, and we start off with a very good one, Subsistence PvE All-Star, especially with this rapid fire frame archetype with a big magazine, and especially, especially with the origin trait of Viced Stinger being present. That's going to cause you to randomly reload your entire magazine based off damaging a target. Well, if you're also getting more rounds back for killing targets, you can really go extremely long periods of time, especially in PvE, without having to reload. Moving on from there, we have Dynamic Sway Reduction to improve uh, the accuracy, Iron Grip to really improve that stability, Auto Loading Holster, I don't think it's very good here, Offhand Strike, kind of a new one to improve range, stability, and accuracy uh, when you get a kill, and Well Rounded, throwing a grenade or hitting a guy with a melee improves a bunch of stats. Now, in the second column, we start with Volt Shot. And this is an absolute meta perk. Like, the Aikilos SMG with Volt Shot, arguably the most desirable ga uh, gun in the entire game right now this season. However, I think this is a massive bait for this weapon. And that's because Volt Shot requires you to reload to get the benefits. Well, you have this massive magazine size. You have Viced Stinger. I really don't think Volt Shot is the play here because there's not a single perk in the first column that actually improves your reload speed, right? You want something like Feeding Frenzy to pair with Volt Shot, so I would actually stick away from this. Then we've got Golden Tricorn, good damage increases, uh, Dragonfly for explosions on kills, Iron Reach to massively boost the range but murder your stability, Range Finder to improve the range, and Gut shot straight for more body shot damage. Okay, so what are you going for in terms of the god rolls? Well, for PvP, I think it's, you know, something like Hammer Forged uh, to improve the range, or even Small Bore, combined with Accurized Rounds, more range improvement, and then you could go with Iron Grip, get that stability back, and just hurt your reload speed, who cares, or Dynamic Sway Reduction to make it more accurate, and you're combining that with, honestly, you know, you could go with Golden Tricorn, or you could go with Range Finder uh, just to let you hit people from ranges they're not expecting, honestly. Speaking of, you may be thinking about Iron Reach. In my opinion, it harms your stability too much, but heck, if you combine it with Iron Grip and get that stability back and a bunch of the range barrels and stuff, you could have like the ultimate range on a 720 auto. I don't know what good that would do you necessarily, but it's a cool combo you can put together. Now, in terms of the PvE god roll, I think it is absolutely gonna be, uh, first of all, appended or extended. You really want that magazine increase because then subsistence is your absolute go-to. I think it's clear uh, the choice here in the first column. And then I think it's Golden Tricorn. And that's because you then put on Vice Stinger and you have a huge magazine, you're getting ammo back, and then Golden Tricorn is offering either a 15% damage increase or if you're using this in 
a grenade build, I mean it's arc, you could easily put it in the Titan grenade build, you're getting a 50% damage increase. And that's actually what you're seeing in the background gameplay. I have Golden Tricorn, and holy crap, when you get that 50%, this thing schlaps. So that is absolutely the PvE god roll, and it's actually a pretty good PvE god roll, uh, all things being considered. Now, moving on from there, the second weapon we're going to look at here is the Ganora's Axe Legendary Arc Shotgun. This thing belongs to the Pinpoint Slug Frame 65 rounds per minute archetype. Uh, generally can be very good in the Crucible and even in PvE, although it's been kind of nerfed in PvE. So, taking a look at the barrels here, um, you really want range and the most range as possible. Even something uh, like full bore that harms your stability, you just want that extra range. Now for PvE, again, doesn't matter as much. And in the second column here, uh, generally something that's going to increase the magazine size for PvE or the reload speed, and then clear accurized rounds for that range for PvP. Now, in the first main perk slot here, uh, you have stuff like Threat Detector to improve the reload when enemies are nearby, Auto loading holster, very good in PvE actually, especially with a special. Surplus to improve the stats if you have charged abilities. Moving target for faster ADS speed or like movement while ADS. Slick draw is gonna improve your handling but decrease your target acquisition, not sure we want that here. And then hip fire grip to improve stats while hip firing. Then in the second column, Vorpal Weapon, more damage against bosses or guardians in their super. And we have Iron Reach. I think this is the big deal here, guys. Um, this is only the second shotgun in the entire game, the first one being the Reese Walker. That can get Iron Reach, massively improving the range with plus 20 and then harming your stability, which doesn't necessarily matter as much here with this type of shotgun. We then have Snapshot Sights to improve ADS speed. We have Opening Shot, another shotgun all-star, improving the range and accuracy accuracy on the opening shot. Then we have Eye of the Storm, better accuracy when you're in a fight. And we have Volt Shot here. Now, as for the origin traits, we actually have Suros Synergy, and then of course the Sulking Wolf Iron Banner origin trait. Now, in terms of the God Rolls, for PvE, I think you are going for um, probably something like Appended, uh, combined with uh, Auto Loading Holster, I would imagine, and then you're combining that with Vorpal weapon. I, I think that's what you want in terms of a special. Now, you could go the Volt Shot route. I don't necessarily think it's the best, you know, gun with Volt Shot, but you could go Volt Shot plus Threat Detector to improve the reload, and then you've got a shotgun with Volt Shot. Pretty decent. Now, the PvP God Roll, I think, is really what people are going to go for, because essentially, if you get Iron Reach, it offers so much range that you don't necessarily need accurized hammer forge, full bore, stuff like that, because you're actually gonna reach the range cap. There's actually a cap where any more range would just not really do anything. So if you get iron reach, then you can maybe go with hammer forge. You don't need the full, uh, full bore. Heck, you could even go with something like Fluted Barrel for the plus 15 to handling and still be able to reach the range cap, maybe by just getting accurized rounds, right? Like you don't need every single thing to improve your range. You could go Iron Reach, Fluted for the handling, combine that with Threat Detector to also improve the handling or Surplus to also improve the handling. And you've got a very snappy shotgun. You want a lot of handling with your shotgun. That's going to determine ADS speed as well as swap speed, stuff like that, so definitely a lot of handling is good. At the same time, opening shot is fantastic on PvP shotguns, so going with Hammer Forged, you know, or Full Bore combined with Accurized Rounds, and then Surplus or Threat Detector for the range, or heck, even Hip Fire Grip, some people love this perk on their Slug shotguns, combined with opening shot, that's a more traditional PvP god roll, but it's still gonna be fantastic here. 
And then I think you're really going with Suros Synergy to get that flinch resistance. Generally, uh, for the Dark Decider, the PvE God Roll is what you're going for and it's pretty decent. And the Gnora's Axe has a very capable PvP God Roll. If you're someone who likes those precision slug frame shotguns, I think it's definitely a go-to weapon. The first one ever in the game that can get Iron Reach, which means again, you can pump it with way more handling than other precision shotguns and still get to that range cap. Guys, that is it for the video. Hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.